Yo, what up my funky fresh friends, it's Chris here, and today we're going to talk about the tadpoles. So it's week two, they're about ten days old or so, you know, I don't know exactly when I caught them, but they're probably about ten days old. So uh, today we're going to focus ma mainly on how to take care of the tadpoles in very simple and easy terms. They're really not very hard to take care of at all. All you really need to do is feed them and have a proper container with the proper water. So that's just about it. But I'm going to talk a little bit more about just random stuff that uh, I've learned throughout my process last year. So we're going to focus mostly on toad poles. Uh, I, I, I'm not really sure if it's exactly the same way between all different species and all different varieties of, uh, you know, different tadpoles, but for the most part, like the most of the ones that you'd find, you know, out in the wild out there, it should be this approximately. So let's go show you guys the toad poles. So check them out. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. There's so many of them, by the way. Look at them all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, so you're noticing there's not really that many over here on this corner over here, but there's like a billion over here. What the heck is going on? Well, I just fed them just a little while ago, so they're kind of just chilling where all the food ends up going. Uh, so, alright, first things first, how do you take care of a tadpole? So if you're going to catch the tadpoles, make sure that you put them in uh, some regular water. So what you want to do is do not take tap water directly from the tap in most places because you know it's probably going to be city water, it's probably going to be water that goes through the plant and comes out chlorinated and, and fluorine and all these other chemicals that will end up hurting or killing the tadpoles. So what you want to do is you want to either buy that stuff from the store that like makes water better or whatever, but really all you got to do is just wait. All that stuff will evaporate out of the water. It'll evaporate out of the water and you won't have to worry about it. So usually, I say 24 hours to be safe, but if you have running water and, you know, all this other stuff, and you can just swirl it up with your hand just a little bit or something like that every once in a while, you can hopefully get rid of it in about two, three, four hours. You know, I actually put these guys in after four hours of waiting, and it worked out perfectly. All right, so that's the water. Make sure you don't put them in straight in tap water or hose water or any of that stuff. It's all probably from the same place. So, and the next thing is food. This is really, really important. A lot of people ask, what the heck do you feed the tadpoles? So there's two different things. Um, lettuce and tadpole food. Lettuce is really good because it's it, it's just a lot of random uh, you know calories and nutrients, but you also need protein, and that's what vegetables don't have too much of. So hopefully you can see this. This is the crude protein. It's 50% of this stuff. Now obviously there's some other random crap in there as well that'll help out uh, your little frog buddies, your little tadpole buddies. So... Um, I bought mine on Amazon, feel free to buy yours at the pet store or whatever, but uh, it was like three bucks, so it wasn't very expensive at all. Also, for the lettuce, so how the heck do you feed it? Do you just pop it in from, from a, a head of lettuce or whatever? Not really, you need to cook it first. So what you want to do is just pop it in the water, uh, boiling water, for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then chop it up into little tiny pieces. And then uh, what I like to do is I like to put it in the freezer. You can put it in like little ice cube trays or something like that, and you can get individual chunks of lettuce that you can feed to your tadpoles whenever you want to, and then it'll last a good solid month or two months, you know, of, of, of feeding. So the way I like to do is I feed them every single day, but I switch off between the tadpole food and the lettuce. And that keeps them really happy and healthy. Again, the whole point of the tadpole stage is just to eat as much as you possibly can and get huge and turn into a toad. So that's the whole point of their stage. That's all they do is eat, 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 eat. So give them as much food as they want. But try not to leave too much extra stuff in the bottom there. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of dirt. This is actually a lot of mud that was left over from when I originally caught the tadpoles. They were sitting in kind of a little muddy area. This is a lot of mud and a little bit of their poop and everything. And you're never going to have a clean tank when you have tadpoles. That is almost a for sure thing. Tadpoles are dirty. All they do is eat and poop. <laughs> that means this is going to be kind of dirty. So with the water, what you want to do is do water changes every once in a while. Probably once a week or something like that. Just take out about 10-20% um, of the water and just add 10-20% back. That's all you need to do. Don't worry about using tap water at that point because it's not really going to affect them that much. It's going to be so little uh, you know, stuff's in there. It won't bother them. Or won't hurt them, rather. Uh, and, and that's that's pretty much it. I mean, just make sure you don't grab too many. I mean, I know a lot of people, what they'll do is like, Oh my god, there's thousands of tadpoles in the backpack here. I'm going to catch them all. I'm going to raise them all. And that's probably not the best thing to do because you'll probably run out of space. They're going to get bigger. So just keep in mind that you might have to release some or something like that if they do end up getting, um, you know, if there is too many in your tank. Uh, and the last thing that a lot of people ask, the main thing that a lot of people ask is, when the heck should I worry? about them getting on land. So right now you can tell my entire tank is water. They can't get out at all, ever. Chris, you're going to kill them all. You're going to drown the little frogs. Well, they're only 10 days old at this point. So obviously all tadpoles are 
uh, different. So it's hard to say, you know, write it three weeks, write it four weeks, write it five weeks. That is the wrong way to think about it. So what you're going to think about is look at their legs. So at these, this point, none of them, none of them have any legs at all. So that means I don't have to worry at all. As soon as you start seeing back legs is when you have to start paying attention just a little bit more. Back legs mean nothing. They're, you know, they're still not going to want to pop out on land or anything. But once you get down to, um, once they pop out front legs, it's going to be fast. So you got to watch them. For toad poles, it's right around four weeks or so is when they're going to start popping out their front arms. Anywhere from like four, four to six weeks. Um, maybe slightly earlier than four weeks, so just be wary of that. Especially if you caught them when they were, you know, older than the first day they were born. So, uh, just be careful with that. As soon as they pop out front legs, it only takes one day from them, for them to turn from tadpoles with front legs to full-on toads out of the water. So you got to be very, very careful with that. Make sure you're ready to put the land in there as soon as you need to. Whether you need to just lower the water all the way to at least have something in there that can they can have land, or you put gravel in there, which will you know obviously help them. Uh, you know, like have like half the tank water and half the tank gravel. But I recommend just putting just a little bit of just put a little bit of something in there that they can you know sit on, and then um, and then release them. Release them pretty fast because you know what their food is really really hard to catch. They're they're really really small toads, so catching really really small bugs can be kind of difficult. And or buying it is even more of a pain because it's super duper expensive. Last year I tried to raise the tadpoles using food, and you know what? Everything all together to take care of the tadpoles by themselves was like fifteen dollars. <laughs> you know, besides the tank that I already had, it's like fifteen dollars for the food, the lettuce, and like uh, the the you know the uh, filter and all that other stuff, and then. Uh, the food alone for the frogs was like 45 bucks. Yeah, because of the shipping, I had to do two-day two shipping to make sure the crickets were still alive. I had to buy the tiniest little crickets ever, and they would eat, you know, 20 to 30 crickets a day, so it was like redonkulous trying to feed these guys. So, I recommend just releasing them right away. As soon as they turn into toads, you know, release five, ten a day, whatever you need to do, and just get rid of them. Alright, so the last thing is the filter. So, I, I like to mention that, uh, I like to have a filter in my tanks. No matter what I do, I love to have a filter. It's not a necessity, but it keeps the water from getting stale, old, gross, stagnant pond water that is probably not what you want to have. So I have like little, I don't know if you guys can see them, I have like little tiny bugs. I don't know what they are. I think they're little baby snails, actually. You can see those little white dots in there? Those are little baby snails swimming around in there, I think. Or something else. And what they do... I don't even know what they do, to be honest, but uh, they're kind of annoying. The filter's not really going to help all that much, but uh, it, it's dirty. You know, it's pond water. This is just a little... I only had, like, you know, one, one eighth of the entire tank was the pond water, and look what happened. They kind of took over the tank. So it's going to be dirty, and it's going to be gross if you don't have at least a filter in there to make it look sort of nice. So so I highly recommend a filter. I just got a corner filter. Again, it was like six bucks, not expensive at all. Hopefully, I'll leave the link in the description back there. Um... But I highly recommend it. Try and put it in there. As you can tell, actually, if you look, this is about a week's worth of dirt and grime. So you can see, you know, that those were supposed to be black, and now they're brownish, gross color. And you can see the the one on the top is the color it's supposed to be. That's like the 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 coarse um, filter, and then you have like the medium filter, and then the fine filter in there. And as you can tell, you know, it's really fine particles that it needs to, you know, slurp up. All right, so I think that's probably about it for the tadpoles. Again, if you guys have any um, questions for me, feel free to throw them in the comments down there. I love to help you guys out, and I love to uh, make sure that tadpoles aren't suffering. So uh, if you have any other special ideas that you want me to make for the tadpoles, make sure you let me know in you know the comments below. And have a super-duper delicious day.